All right, this one's gonna be on uh, Rofi. It is a launcher slimmer to D menu. Actually, you can replace this with D menu because um, they do have a dash D menu flag here. Show you here. And with this flag, you can actually use all the same, um, I'll say, flags that D menu has. So you don't actually have to use D menu. You can just use uh, Rofi here, and it should take care of everything else. Um, if you still have like some of your old scripts or commands that you use with D menu, all you gotta do is just uh, you know add the uh, Rofi and then D menu flag, and everything should work the same. But you know it looks different because you're using um, what was that Rofi? But anyways, usually when I use this program, uh, I like to use the D run mode. They do have different modes, so I'll show you explaining that the difference here. But I do uh, Rofi. And we use Modi D run show D run. Now, what is D run? D run is just uh, listing out all your GUI programs or programs that you installed on your system that has a dot desktop file. So that's what we're gonna do here. And you use um, let's say we open keyboard and what else is here? Open mouse pad. So you can see that uh, it'll launch just um, or just list out the GUI programs only, and you can launch it from there. But anyways, what else does it have in here? Now, normally when I use this, um, I actually like to combine it with other modes that they have. So we're gonna do the combine, and we're gonna combine this with uh, Window, and that stands for Windows Switcher. I mean, you can add other ones too, like. Uh, what can you add? SSH, run, and so on and so forth. You can actually create your own modes. So, you know, if you want to um, create one, I believe it's just bash or maybe Python, I'm not sure. One of those. Anything else in here? So, I usually like to run like this one here. Uh, I have the window and the D run. And when this one is loaded, you can see that it has all my window that is currently open. So I can switch to them. Let's say I want to switch to a uh, mouse pad here. I'll switch to that. Uh, if I want to switch to keyboard, switch to that. So on and so forth. So they have like, um, you know, both mode. The window switch up top and then the D run at the bottom here. And you can still search for stuff in here if you want, like play on Linux or something like that. You get the idea. So how does that look like when I'm running it here? So this is my own custom one here. And it's just, um, you know, different themes. I like to use like green and black for like matrix style. So by default, like I said, I have the window switcher and then the D run here. But you can actually have, um, you can switch to different modes here by using shift, either left arrow or right arrow, doesn't matter. So you can, you know, switch between them. So that's one difference uh, between the D menu and this is that they have different modes you can switch between. So shift, you know, right here or left, doesn't matter. Um, now this one is just for window switching mode. Now I only have like, a, you know, a web browser open, so that's why it only shows one. But if I had more, then it will just show you more. Uh, the next one is the run, it's similar to you know uh, any other run dialog that you have on most distributions now in D menu I, I they don't actually open up uh, a terminal for you however in here if you hold um, hold shift and hit enter or shift and enter here on uh, the command that you want uh, let's say this uh, H top here I do shift and enter I open up with your uh, terminal right so that's one difference. Uh, I believe in D menu you have to do some scripting or something like that just just to uh, achieve that. But anyways, that that they have that by default here. Uh, you can still run your commands, you know, um, whatever echo, blah blah blah. Now with this, it'll just run it in the background unless you do some pausing of your terminal or something like that. But uh, if you're running like commands, you know, it'll run like uh, any other run dialog, right? But anyways, that's one thing you can do there. As far as for SSH, uh, similar to the run, um, you know, this is all your SSH uh, that you have on your system.
and if you want to run it you hold shift and enter and it'll open up with uh, you know your terminal and I'll try to execute the session normally I don't recommend people to use any of that you know like um, the run thing I probably wouldn't recommend it um, you probably want to do it in your terminal instead the same thing with the SSH just do it in your terminal instead but it's there if you really want to use it that's pretty much it for the difference um, if you want to create your own themes uh, they do have this uh, generator up top uh, on their website so let's bust out their website here oops that's not the one what the hell is that trophy github and yeah they have one here let's see here yeah this one here this is a theme generator and they have like a little preview of what the colors would look like all right so let's say if I want to change um, the background color to a red or something like that then I'll you know change it uh, to the format that you'll need it so up top here this one is for your um, X resources a configuration file and you paste that in there if you want to do that way an alternative way is just to have all the flags um, you know put it into your terminal so this one is like a dash color window flag and so on and so forth uh, so this is normally how I, I like to use it just from uh, the command line um, so what does it look like when you're doing this here so for example uh, these are my bindings here and stuff. So I use the same, um, what was that, uh, Rofi, and then, you know, the combined mode, so on and so forth. And I have my colors at the bottom, what was it, at the back of this thing here. And I bind it to control space. And basically, all you do is just copy this part here and go into your keyboard. And then you go, um, you know add a new one here so this is on xfc this is how you would do it you do this and um what was that we need to get rid of that i don't think you need this part here and then i uh, just hit ok and then bind to a hotkey that you want i, I usually like to use uh, control space but that's pretty much it how you would set it up and you know uh, get your themes and everything uh probably do another video on some of these other um, commands that I use. Uh, I use the Fuzzy Finder and some of those code I can just reuse with, you know, Rafi, uh, I mean Rofi or D menu, whatever it is. And it works uh, just the same. It's not really not that much difference I have to do. Anyways, maybe I'll do another video on that. That'll be it for this one.